covering the villages for you. Here's Jill Winters and the VNN Lifestyle News Team. Villagers combine with senior professional bowlers. Plus, residents learn the strategy of chess. Amongst the names of Professional Bowling Association Hall of Famers inside Spanish Springs Lanes this week, competing in the PBA 50 The Villages Classic are nearly two dozen area bowlers who are learning a lot and having a blast. Especially for the couple of guys that it's their very first tournament or maybe their second tournament in a couple cases, I says you can't be looking around you and worrying about somebody you know that like maybe a P.D. Weber or an Amletto or, 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 or somebody that's won many titles. You got to worry about your own game. Boy, you know, you look forward to this one. No matter where you live, if you get a chance to go in your hometown, which is this is now, it's a lot of fun to come. A lot of people rooting you on and all that. And uh, you always try a little harder. I think you want to do better when you're in front of the people that you know. But as far as seniors go, with a captive audience like we have here, it's uh, it's really great. It, it, it's it's really nice to see. And this place probably going to be filled, you know, morning, afternoon, and night because a lot of locals are on all different squads. And so people you might bowl in league with, people you know from maybe from uh, just being out bowling or golfing or something, I think they're going to come and support the village bowlers. Experience was good. You get to learn different patterns, get to learn what these guys do for a living and respect what goes on out there. Um, it was a very good learning curve. Wanted to do it again this year just so... I can get more more knowledge in the bowling. You know, I'm throwing the ball really good in different house patterns and different sport patterns. So, why not do the PVA patterns? I'm very honored and blessed. I'm, I'm very happy that I was able to participate. I have the health to be able to compete with these guys. Um, these guys out here are great. They 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 take you in with open arms. They give you help and tips. Um, they push you to move forward. Push you to do better. And you know, it's, it's, they're just awesome to bowl with. The crowds here are great. This is. They got stands up here. I got fans coming in my work. I got fans from the people that bowl here all the time. The PBA 50, the Villages Classic, continues on Thursday and Friday. The five-person stepladder finals is scheduled for 7.30 p.m. Friday at Spanish Springs Lanes. Keep following my stories in the sports section of the Daily Sun for coverage of this professional tournament. The Villages High School bowling team will be competing this season at AMF Leesburg Lanes. The Buffalo kicked off their fall practice Saturday afternoon. New head coach Joe Hornstein says number one is getting to work as a team. Number two, it's getting them to work with each other. And number three, it's getting them work in the lane with one-step drills. These drills allow the bowlers to focus on the release of the ball, balance, and their follow-through. He is trying to get them to hone in on their skills to get ready for the beginning of the season. Getting them used to being back on the lanes and to consistently bowl because the more they do that, he says, the more comfortable they will be. He says you have to fail to succeed and failing is inevitable. This is more about developing these kids into adults and leaders and into the future of this country. Another Villages High School team that is ready to compete is the boys basketball team. The Buffalo resumed team workouts on Monday inside their brand new home in Middleton, mixing in some light system based skirmishes with their slate of drills. Head coach Colt McDowell says it went well as they are getting used to everyone being back together. This time of year, he says they are trying to get the players to build strength and conditioning and build on their team principles. For the Buffalo offense to function at its highest, players need to protect the ball. That is why they work so methodically in the paint, making easy baskets, which means more points on the board. Coach McDowell stresses to his squad that taking care of the ball is more important than the play. For even more about the Village's boys basketball team and the bowling teams, take a look at Wednesday's sports section of your Daily Sun. After this short break, we have a health safety reminder for you, so stay with us. Going on now at Cart World Golf Cars, the summer clearance. All new 2023 club cars and garrias must go. Buy now and save big. Model year and discounts up to $1,250. Whether you're in the market for a two, four, or six seater with gas, electric, or lithium power, Cart World has it. There's never been a better time to buy. 
hurry. Don't miss out. When these cars are gone, so are these prices. This hurricane preparedness tip from VNN and WVLG is brought to you by The Villages Insurance. Hi, this is WVLG senior forecaster Dave Toll. What happens after a hurricane? Continue listening to WVLG for the latest updates. Let your family know you're safe. Avoid drinking or preparing foods with tap water until you are sure it is not contaminated. Check refrigerated food for spoilage. Remember, if in doubt, throw it out. Wear protective clothing and be careful when cleaning up to avoid injury. Check on your neighbors as soon as possible. Use the phone only for emergency calls. Watch animals closely and keep them under your direction. If your community has experienced a hurricane, or any disaster, register on the American Red Cross Safe and Well website at www.redcross.org slash safe and well. Keep listening for more information, including supplies, pet tips, and detailed information to keep on hand during hurricane season. Presented by the Villages Insurance, and thank you for listening to the Villages Soundtrack, WVLG. Florida's heat index has been hitting record highs this summer. Seniors are especially at risk for skin cancer as it can occur more rapidly in aging skin. The Skin Cancer Foundation reports that one in five Americans can develop skin cancer by the age of 70 and most skin cancers are diagnosed in older adults. The Village's Health Medical Director Dr. Robert Riley says skin protection is the name of the game. Always use high SPF sunscreen on your exposed skin. Wear hats when planning to be out in the sun for extended periods of time and try to limit the duration of sun exposure whenever possible. He believes a big risk is forgetting to consider skin protection when in the pool or during overcast days. In fact, he says these scenarios actually increase skin damage risk as people tend to feel cooler. An analysis of the medical expenditure panel survey from the National Institutes of Health suggests 6.1 million adults are treated for certain skin cancers each year. Here's your VNN five day weather. From the WVLG Weather Center, this is Christopher James with your VNN five day forecast. The temperatures have cooled a bit here in the villages and we're going to get a break over the weekend. Thursday's high is going to be 88, Friday 90, 92 on Saturday and 89 on Sunday. Overnight lows are going to be the mid 70s. Chances of rain every afternoon through the weekend, anywhere from 40 to 50 percent. So we're going to get a break from the heat, but still get a chance to enjoy Florida's friendliest hometown. It's still hurricane season and here's a way you can save money on supplies. This year, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a tax relief bill that included two 14-day disaster preparedness sales tax holidays for family and pet supplies. That next tax holiday is August 26th through September 8th to coincide with peak hurricane season. Keep this tax holiday in mind as you look to put together your hurricane supply kits. Staples needed should be batteries, weather radios, and generators will all be tax-free along with other important items. Up next, residents learn how to make the right moves playing a board game. We'll be right back. When you visit Cody's, you're walking into a great bar with fantastic drink options, including two for one happy hour and a very cool place to eat with great food and phenomenal service. I love the BOGO fajitas every Wednesday and we love coming here and feel like family. Just like family, with loads of smiles for you at Cody's Original Roadhouse in Brownwood and Lake Sumter Landing. If you have a hearing loss but won't wear a hearing aid, we have exciting news for you. It's the Lyric Invisible Hearing System. It's placed deep in your ear canal, it's completely undetectable, and the insertion process takes only minutes with no surgery, medication, or pain involved. You wear 24 hours a day, there's no maintenance and no batteries to change. You can sleep, shower, and exercise with it. And practically the time it's taken us to tell you about this hearing device, we just fit this patient. Call right now and find out if Lyric is right for you.
On August 2nd, area residents challenged themselves to learn the basics of chess by taking a session through the Enrichment Academy at Captiva Recreation. We start at the absolute beginning, uh, how to set the pieces, how the pieces move, um, then we move on to basic strategy, um, things like that. About half the class usually knows something about chess they used to play many years ago, and the other half have never played and they always wanted to. It's all about decision making, consequences for your decisions. Um, good decisions make good outcomes. Usually they like it a lot. They, you know, a lot of them are want to play their grandchildren or play their children or just, you know, play online. The basics of chess class includes four sessions, and Matthew believes the hardest thing to teach is how the knight piece moves. He says chess is a lot of fun, and he encourages people to give it a try. To learn about classes like this one offered through the Academy, visit the enrichmentacademy.org. Village of Bonnybrook resident Martha Manning is ready to direct a funny and sweet play in Leesburg. In January, she directed the Hallelujah Girls for the Villages Theater Company, and she is about to do it again, but this time for the Melon Patch Theater's production. It's the story of five women in a small town in Georgia that want to take detours in their lives after the death of one of their friends. She says the cast is just wonderful, and they are right on the mark all the time. You can see the Hallelujah Girls at 7 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays and 2 p.m. Sundays, August 25th through the 27th. Tickets are $22 for adults and $10 for students. Available at melonpatchplayers.org. We'll be back with more news from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. Did you know you can cash out early on your life insurance policy and get money for it today? It's a pretty simple process. If you no longer want or can't afford your policy, call them and they'll give you cash for it today. The number, 352-668-9361. That's 352-668-9361. Or for more information, visit online at www.goldenlifesettlements.com. Golden Life Settlements, serving seniors for over 20 years. Call them today, 352-668-9361. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. And air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. This is VNN. If you are looking for a volunteer opportunity, Love in the Name of Christ of the Heart of Florida may be an option for you. This thrift store serves people in need through local churches. Love Inc. Executive Director Dana Parker says the organization needs more donations and volunteers for the sensible furnishing store, which sells gently used items. Volunteers help sort through all the donated items and they get them on display and set up on the floor. Dana says the resale shop benefits everyone, especially those who are not in a place to spend a lot of money on furniture and other items. For more information about volunteering, you can call Dana at 352-245-8774. A popular business for hobbyists just announced its opening day. Hobby Lobby is set to open on Monday, August 28th. This freestanding 55,000 square foot store is located on Wedgwood Lane in the Buffalo Ridge Plaza off County Road 466. Katz and Associates Managing Partner David Amichovich says the new store in this fast growing community is exciting for Hobby Lobby and its customers. The location is consistently ranked as one of the most requested trade areas for them to enter, and the Hobby Lobby is eager to meet that demand with this new store in the heart of the villages. This is the country's largest privately owned arts and crafts retailer that sells a variety of items from home accents to seasonal products and custom framing. It's time now for a brief commercial break. We'll be right back.
I'm Dr. Al Turi. I'm uh, the uh, director of audiology for the Villages Health, and I'm I'm surprised and proud to tell you that I've been practicing audiology in the Villages uh, for just over 15 years. The Villages Health is the premier health system in the Villages, and the Villages Health Audiology is the premier audiology clinic in the Villages. We have nine doctors, uh, eight locations. Would you believe that uh, we have the only rotary chair in the Villages? For those of you with with falls and dizziness and vertigo, we're the place to come to, to uh, understand what's causing that and then to get you to the right specialist to treat it. We don't just stick hearing aids in your ear and say, call me if you have a problem. I'm so proud of the evidence-based care that we provide, uh, not only in our testing, but in our treatment. When we treat folks with hearing loss, when we put hearing devices on them, it's, it's so much more than, is that too loud or is that clear? We actually validate your outcomes. We verify the fittings using science. We treat our patients really well, and, and they're not afraid to, to brag about us. So we, I, I shouldn't even brag about us. They're doing it for us. Rocking. Dancing. Shake your body, baby, do that conga. Relaxing. Or romancing. Thank you for listening to Your Village's soundtrack, WVLG. The best mix of music. The songs you love. Your Village's soundtrack, WVLG. Clap your hands and stop your feet. Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie, here with your Entertainment Beat. Any vinos in the house? Make sure to get your tickets to the next Wine Walk, which is just around the corner at Brownwood Paddock Square, September 8th. Tickets are going fast and there's only a limited supply, so make sure you to grab some soon if you're interested. Get ready for the return of Acoustic Series to Spanish Springs Town Square this September. Our special events team has put together a great lineup of acoustic artists for another round of Midday Melodies. Stay tuned for dates and keep an eye out in your monthly calendar and on thevillagesentertainment.com for the reveal of our lineup and more info. Don't forget about our special car events coming up. We'll finish out August with our monthly cruise-in this weekend on the 19th. September Cruisin' will take place on the 16th of September, and the month of September will wrap up with the Car Club Showcase at Brownwood Paddock Square. Following the Farmer's Market, where each club will be offered 24 spots to feature their favorite rides. And don't forget to check out Thursday's Entertainment with the inspiring story of Dream Girls at Savannah Center, the tantalizing flavors of Seafood 101 at the Show Kitchen, the musical comedy, 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee at the Studio Theater, and trivia at Lazy Max Taco Shack. All tickets can be purchased at thevillagesentertainment.com, at one of our box office or kiosk locations, or over the phone. Tune in tomorrow to hear a few words from Rocky of Rocky and the Rollers about some of his favorite shows coming up. That's your beat for today, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Natalie. If you enjoy free musical entertainment, well, of course, The Villages is the place for you. These are the band scheduled to play Thursday night. That's all the news we have for you now. Pick up a copy of Thursday's Daily Sun to read about National Nonprofit Day. Keep embracing the village's active adult lifestyle. Thanks for watching your VNN Lifestyle News Show.
we're driving a Polaris slingshot. It's a blast. It puts a smile on my face every time I get in it. It's a T-Rex 16S. Every time we go anywhere, people stop us. If we go down to the square and park, it instant draws a crowd. Tons of pictures. This is a Can-Am Spider. You're out in the sunshine, out in the fresh air.
You want to enjoy your home, we know. To live well is to eat well. Knox Restorations knows you want a beautiful kitchen to enjoy your favorite meals with your family. Licensed, bonded, and insured, we can make it happen. Bathroom? We work with trusted brands and American-made materials for a squeaky clean result. <laughs> family owned and operated for over 14 years, experienced craftsmen and design consultants. We stand on it. We'll make you look like a million. It's up to you what you tell your neighbors. And much more. So relax. Doc's Restorations will take care of it all for you. One company, one source, one solution. from Lake Sumter Landing in a small building with big windows near the water. AM 640, 102.7 and 104.5 FM. Your soundtrack to the villages. WVLG Wildwood.